Hello, boys and girls. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Miss B's audio reads. I am too excited about today's book because um, I am very grateful I borrowed it. I, um, As I mentioned earlier, I had partnered with some friends of mine at Colorful Pages Coalition, and um, they sent me some books. And when I saw this one, oh my gosh, this book is so special. So I remember seeing this at the bookstore, at Mr. K's bookstore, and I almost bought it. And, and I will tell you what, I'm, I am going to go buy my own copy. Um, this one's called Sulwe, and it is by Lupita Nyong'o. Um, you may have seen her if you have watched Black Panther. Um, that is, uh, I think, one of the first movies that I saw her in. She's incredible. But these illustrations, this is illustrated by Vashti Harrison. They are unbelievable. And this story is, is so beautiful. And when we're talking about feeling represented and being seen out there in the world, whew. so please enjoy Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o. Sulwe was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn. Baba was the color of dusk. And Mish, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone looked like Sulwe either. People gave her sister Mish pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Sulwe names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Sulwe felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Sulwe dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends, too. So she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. That hurt. She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. Sulwe decided to work from the inside out and, oh, and ate only the lightest, brightest foods. With a stomach ache, she went to bed. Er she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents, as the parents I'm from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply. May I wake up as bright as the sun and the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake her for school the next morning, Sulwe rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Sulwe told Mama everything. Mama asked, what is your name? Sulwe, she muttered. And what does it mean? Star, Sulwe whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Sulwe's stomach the way she always did to comfort her. 
You are beautiful, Zulu sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me, but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my sweet. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now up you get and out you go. Those are wise words from a mom. I'm going to read them again. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Sulwe's window. The night sent me, the star said. Come with me. Sulwe hopped onto the star, and off they went. I wonder where they're going. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star. There was night and day, and they were sisters. They loved each other very much, but people didn't treat the sisters the same. I just adore these illustrations. They're so beautiful. Lovely, nice, pretty, scary, bad, ugly. People gave day pet names like lovely and nice and pretty. People gave night names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, night got fed up and walked right off the earth. Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But then day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. Day set off to find night, and she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You're right, I don't, Day replied. But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkness. We need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors and some light can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow, with night, everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are the darkest is when you are the most beautiful. It's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little? Not at all?
Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to the day in the form of shadows, and a little bit of day returned to night in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on, and promised to celebrate the brightness in each other, whether people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, we need them both on their sunniest day and their darkest night and every shade in between. Together, they make the world we know light and dark, strong and beautiful. Sulway rose the next morning, beaming. There would be no hiding anymore. She belonged in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. Look at her smile. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. Sulwe felt beautiful inside and out. Aww. I love it. Here's a note from the author. It said, much like Sulwe, I got teased and taunted about my nightshaded skin. I prayed to God that I would wake up with paler skin. I tried all sorts of things to lighten my complexion. My mother told me often that I was beautiful, but she's my mother. Of course she's supposed to think that. It wasn't until I was much older that my feelings about my skin changed. It helped to see darker skinned women being celebrated for their beauty. If they were beautiful, I could be too. I began to see myself differently. While both Sulwe and I had to learn to see our beauty, I hope that more and more children begin their lives knowing that they are beautiful, that they can look to the beauty in the world and know they are part of it. And yet, what is on the outside is only one part of being beautiful. Yes, it is important to feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror. But what is even more important is working on being beautiful inside. That means being kind to yourself and to others. That is the beauty that truly shines through. The journey I went on was very different from Sulwe's nighttime adventure, but the lesson was the same. There is so much beauty in this world and inside you that others are not awake to. Don't wait for anyone to tell you what is beautiful. Know that you are beautiful because you chose to be. Know that you always were and always will be. Treasure it and let it light the way in everything you do. Oh, that was a note by Lupita Nyong'o. I love her. She is a phenomenal actress, um, gorgeous, <laughs> and just incredibly talented. So um, I'm, I'm really glad that she chose to write a book and, and, and tell her story and, and, and represent for women who are as beautifully dark and for, for kids as well. So I hope you enjoyed this story, Sulwe. I know I sure did. Thank you all so much for tuning in to another episode of Miss B's Audio Reads, again, in partnership with the Colorful Pages Coalition. And I'm going to put their information down um, in the uh, down in the comments there so uh, so that you have that as well. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Keep shining bright. And remember, it's who you are inside as well as the outside. So always being kind to other people and... Uh, being the best version of yourself. Love you guys. Bye.